Nation. Yo, yo, Wagwan, it's that guy. Welcome to the show. I, th I feel like I nailed the green screen lighting today. It looks freaking awesome. Um, so, news is Damian Marley, his locks have reached a legendary 25 years in length. And I was just curious. I was just curious. What does he have to say about having dreadlocks for so long? So, luckily, DJ Vlad TV or Vlad TV has interviewed the man to see some inside information on Mr. Marley's locks. And you know, this channel has been very inspired by um, Damien's father. And uh, if it wasn't for Bob Marley, honestly, Not Nation wouldn't wouldn't be around and you know so i i give big respects to the whole marley family and damien being obviously one of my favorites or definitely my favorites of the marley's that's still alive and with us and making music um so without further ado let's jump into this video and see exactly what mr marley says about dreadlocks and, and things of this nature you know yeah yeah like when did you start growing your dreads out uh, around 96, 97. 1996. Crazy. How old at the time? 17, 18. 17, 18. So this is actually a good age to start growing your locks. Like right after high school, you kind of have a bit more freedom with what you're doing with your life. And you're not as under as many, I guess want to say judgment. You're not under any judgmental circumstances like having to go to school and dealing with teachers and peers. Um, you know, you can often, people are moving out at 18 as well. So there's a lot less restrictions for you to go ahead and go for the journey. So it is actually a good age to start the dreadlock journey. Okay, so that's what you're talking about. As you're leaving high school, you're is when I kind of start, yeah. You start embracing. Yeah. The faith more. The faith more. So have you ever cut your hair? Well, has he ever cut his hair? And uh, you'll be surprised what he says here. I want to tell you, I've had to, <laughs> t I, I've took, I took a few inches off the other day. He took a few inches off. And, you know, Damien is a Rasta as well. So it's, it's it comes to a, kind of a surprise to say that he actually did cut his hair. Uh, but he does explain it pretty well. Because it kind of reached a level where, you know, it's hitting the floor and... <laughs> it's actually dragging on the yeah, floor. Yeah, and I'm still a very physical, like, you know, play soccer, I do, you know, I'm a physical person. Right. And if you've ever seen the video footage of Damien playing soccer, th the dude definitely has to wear a backpack to put his hair into before he hops onto the field. And it is insane to see somebody have to put their hair in a bag just to play a sport. So I can understand why he decided to cut it. If, I mean, especially since he's being physical, physically active. You right. know what I mean? So, it, yeah. Most of the people who have here my length would be elders who are not as physical as I am now, you know? The elder dreads. So it's, it's actually a lot better, I guess, unless you, like, he's saying that elder dreads are typically the ones that have hair at his length right now. Um, because they're not as physically active, but I'm personally looking to be as physically active as possible as I get to my elders. So this kind of sparked something in my mind, making me think that, you know, when I'm older, I might not actually want super long dreads because I don't, I wouldn't want it to inhibit my actions at all. If, especially when I'm going to be physically fit and still moving at an elderly age, uh, we see a lot of people on this channel like uh, the dude from India that had the 98 year um, so the dude from Indonesia that had the, the 90 year old dreadlocks there was a dude in India that had really old locks a lot of them are not able to move because their hair is so heavy and their bodies are so frail so it is it did definitely plant a seed in my mind thinking that I may not have super long locks when I'm older but it's better to have it now when we're younger, while we're able to be physically carrying them properly, and not when we're older. You know what I mean? You know, right? Yeah. Uh, they meditate more. Yeah. <laughs> is that is that 
Because based on, on Rasta culture, you're not really supposed to cut your hair? No. Okay. <laughs> Straight up, just a no. Yo, Damien's got those eyes of his dad. Like, he's got the eyes that just says that he smokes so much weed. It's crazy. But he, at this point, you just have to. <laughs> but yeah, and I mean, you know. You know, Damien has the most serious beard and mustache I've ever seen. And I don't know how he does it, but it just feels like it would be so itchy having that much hair on my lip. Crazy. And my beard actually f fills in very similar, like lighter over here with a bit of a bald spot, but then heavy around here. And I know the feeling of having it long hair and I'm just not into it. That's why I keep mine a bit short and off my lip. Uh, and Damien being mixed as well with a black mother and white uh or sorry a white mother and a black father uh, or i guess a mixed father um i know that he has a very similar hair type and if you look at his dreadlocks actually out of the hat you can see some of them how they're twisted around each other in two strand twists it's very interesting how his new growth comes in compared to his old dreadlocks <laughs> as i've been telling people you know i grew my hair my hair doesn't grow on me so even though it's this is a big line I grew my hair, my hair that didn't grow me. And that's a major thing to remember when thinking about cutting your locks or thinking about trimming them or doing something different to them. Our locks essentially don't define us, we define the locks. So if you need to do something out of necessity to cut your hair or trim it up, then like do it. Don't feel bad about it, right? You grow your locks, your locks don't grow you and that's a big a big seed that damien planted plants in this interview as well welcome to jam rock ends up winning two grammys mm -hmm. uh best reggae album again and best urban alternative performance yeah which i think you're the first reggae artist to actually do that yeah to win two in one night two in one night yeah uh, bob wasn't winning multiple grammys no bob never won a grammy to be honest uh, and that's just the facts that I know, but let's see what he says. I remember it, it wasn't, they didn't have a reggae Grammy in his time, really. Ah. So, you know, he's had he's have some lifetime achievement, mm. you know, awards and such forth, but no. Okay. Shaba, was Shaba winning Grammys? Shaba. And then when they, when they finally did make the reggae category in the Grammys, the first person to win it was Peter Tosh with, um, the album No Nuclear War. That was the one. No Nuclear War. Anyways, um, ending this video off here. He's got some two strand twists kind of coming out from the new growth. Not really sure how or why that's happening out there, uh, but Demi Molly's locks, which you don't even see in this video, surprisingly enough, uh, are super long. And I guess I should just show you a couple of photos of this afterwards because uh, his locks are definitely insane. The longest probably of all the Marlies and actually sorry this photo just catches my eye because I used to have the same hat that I got in Jamaica. I don't know where it went but it was my favorite Tam I've ever had. It's, it was actually in one of my very first, very first, blah. It was in one of my very first videos that I posted on this channel. I'll put that in this video right now. But yeah, this is what Damian Marley's locks be looking like. You can see how the dreads at the top here have actually been kind of twisted together. And then the rest of them dragging on the floor. Could you imagine having dreadlocks that dragged on the floor like... It's not even, it doesn't even seem like it'd be comfortable. You know, this is him in the earlier, this is him in the earlier years. This is probably what they're about at now, considering he just trimmed them. You know, he probably keeps them at around this length. And uh, if you are active in sports, there's no way that you'd be able to play sports with hair this long. So... Let me know in the comments below, please, what you guys think about Damian Marley and his dreadlocks of 25 years. Definitely insane. 
and one more favor to ask is to just like this video and subscribe if you're new to this channel uh, my name is not nation and we do dreadlock related content here encouraging people to grow dreadlocks of their own so it'd be awesome if you guys join the community i'm gonna head out thanks for watching peace out one love say happy and natty and i'll see you guys tomorrow Adios. Did you shine?